I'm not afraid of you. Well, you should be. Because I am going to grind you and your entire family into the dust. So back off and leave Ethan alone. No, I'm not going to do that. Why then suffer the consequence, which, need I remind you, is death. You know what, Rebecca? Your threats, they mean nothing to me. I love Ethan. I'm not going to give him up because you and your daughter found out some old secret about my mother. I'm not giving in to blackmail. Hmm. Well, why don't you uh, ask your mama about that, huh? Pilar? Listen to her, Teresa, please. Give up Ethan forever or we're all doomed. can't. Yes, you can. And you must. I'm sorry, Mia, but you need to listen to her. She's the boss. You must give up Ethan. No, I love him. I know, but even so, Teresa, you have no choice. If you don't, we are all in terrible danger. You haven't told me why. Please, Teresa, don't be stupid. Listen to your mother. She clearly has all the brains in the family. You're not going to stop me from being with Ethan, Rebecca, and neither are you, Mama. I have waited years to finally have the chance to be a family with the man that I love, and I am not going to walk away from that. Please don't be so stubborn. You know what? I'm not leaving Ethan. His son is sick, and he needs me by his side. No, Gwen needs him by I her I will son. not abandon Ethan. Pilar, look, just do whatever you have to to get through to your daughter, all right? Oh, you know what's going to happen. You're going to lose your entire family. Could you please, please listen to that woman? You, you want me to listen to her, Mama? Have you lost your mind? Do you think that I would agree with that woman if it wasn't urgent? You have no choice. You have no idea how serious this is. No, I don't, because you won't tell me, Mama. All I get from you are these predictions of death and disaster, but I have no idea what the hell is going on here. Now, what do Gwen and Rebecca have on you? And, and what is so terrible that you want me to give up my chance at happiness, my children's chance at happiness? Our lives are at stake, Mia. Just promise me that you'll walk away from Ethan, please. I can't. No, you know what? I'm not going to let Rebecca and Gwen control our lives. We can stand up to them, Mom. And you know what? I will protect us. You don't understand. You can't protect us. They won't stop. Who won't stop? Never mind. Just listen to me, please. No, Ethan, I will not. Let us not leave them alone. You've got to give them permission so they can work on Jonathan, Gwen. Our son was fine until we brought him here and Eve poisoned him. So no, I will not give my permission for anyone else in this hospital to hurt him. Ma'am, perhaps you don't understand. Jonathan's liver failure is a very serious condition. He needs this treatment. Or? Or he could die. Well, then that's it. There is no choice. There's no choice. Okay. Can you guarantee this new treatment will absolutely 100% save my son's life? We will do the very best we can. But as I said, there are risks. Forget it. Forget it. Without this treatment, your son will get worse and worse. He will be in pain, and he will not get better on his own. He has to have this treatment. Will you listen to this woman, please? And let these butchers near him? No way. What do you mean I'm not Jonathan's father? Oh, honey, honey, take that back. I mean, it just can't be true. I mean, it, it, it can't be true. Where did you get the baby? Answer me, now. You're not Jonathan's father legally. What? Well, yeah, I mean, of course he is. I mean, the woman gives the egg and the man gives the sperm. Yes, and he is, of course, Jonathan's biological father. We were in the middle of a divorce when I gave birth to him, Ethan. I did not put your name on the birth certificate. So, huh. you have no legal rights to Jonathan whatsoever. Oh, excuse me. I certainly do. I can prove that I'm his father. And I'll take a DNA test right now, Gwen. Well, that'll take time. No, you showed me those tests, Gwen. I did? I must have misplaced them. Your baby's welfare should be above all else, Gwen. I am putting my baby's welfare first. Look, I am the only one who can legally consent to treat Jonathan, and I will not give my consent. Are we clear? Gwen. Gwen, damn it, don't do this! What am I going to do? How am I supposed to convince her to sign these papers? I mean, I understand she has a fear of doctors right now because of what happened, but if we don't do anything, he's going to die in there. I'm taking Jonathan home. 
The hell you are, Gwen. Has she signed the papers yet? No, she hasn't. Your son's taken a turn for the worse. He's declining rapidly. If you want your son to live, we have to start treatment immediately. Ma'am, you have to sign the permission slip for Jonathan's treatment, and I mean now. No. He will be fine if you people just leave him alone. Gwen, Gwen, please. He needs treatment. He's getting worse. Much worse. You are just exaggerating. He is going to be just fine. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Whatever it is, make it fast. If your son doesn't receive treatment immediately, he is going to die.